Hi kids in this video you find some amazing fun facts about caterpillar. Did you know that the average lifespan of a caterpillar is 3 to 4 weeks until they change into their adult forms? Caterpillars eat a lot, in fact, they can be 100 times larger than when it's emerged from the egg. Caterpillars have 6 eyes, they are called ocelli or stemmata. Their eyes can see light but cannot see an image or colors. They don't have lungs. A caterpillar's gut moves on its own. Caterpillars don't have teeth. Caterpillars are a type of mini-beast. Butterflies and moths start their lives as caterpillars, as they slowly grow and change into butterflies and moths. The process begins when they're an egg. They then reach the larval phase and they become caterpillars. During this stage, they eat constantly and start to outgrow their skin, which they shed several times, as it gets too small. Once the last shed occurs, the caterpillar latches onto a branch and forms a cocoon out of silk for protection. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar undergoes a metamorphosis. This is the scientific name for all the changes that happen in the cocoon to turn them into butterflies and moths. For example, the six front legs turn into adult legs and they form wings. The Life Cycle of Caterpillars and Butterflies have you ever wondered what happens inside the cocoon during the caterpillar into butterfly process? Obviously, we can't see inside, but it is a bit like magic. How does one thing become another? Read on to find out all the caterpillar to butterfly stages of development. During the first stages of the process, the caterpillar digests itself. That's right, it eats itself. If you opened the cocoon during this stage, it would just contain a lot of caterpillar goop. However, the transformation doesn't end there, since the caterpillar contains clever cells which know how to rebuild themselves into adult butterfly cells. These cells are called imaginal cells and they are a bit like stem cells that humans have. Once everything is digested, except for the imaginal cells, the next stage of caterpillar to butterfly transformation can begin. During this second stage, the imaginal cells use all the nutrients that the caterpillar got from eating all those leaves and plants as energy to grow. It manages to grow all the wings and legs and other bits and pieces that a grown-up butterfly needs. Eventually, the caterpillar no longer exists. Instead, tucked within the cocoon is a beautiful butterfly, or moth, ready to burst out and spread its wings. The caterpillar into butterfly process is complete. How long does it take for a caterpillar to become a butterfly? Most butterflies transform from their caterpillar selves into butterflies in around 9 to 14 days. However, this does depend on the species of butterfly. It can take different lengths of time depending on the species. How long does it take for a caterpillar to make a cocoon? It normally takes between 5 and 21 days for a caterpillar to make a cocoon. Then. They stay inside it while they transform. Some caterpillars make a chrysalis and become butterflies, while others make a cocoon before they become moths. What do caterpillars eat? Caterpillars feed on plants, most will feed on leaves, whereas others munch on other parts, such as seeds and flowers. However, there are two types of caterpillars when it comes to eating, generalists feeders and specialist feeders. Generalists eat a variety of plants, an example of this would be a morning cloak caterpillar. Only a few caterpillars are carnivores, which means they feed on insects like aphids, as well as plants. These are specialist feeders. Where is a caterpillar's habitat? A caterpillar lives in a habitat that has lots of plants, trees, and flowers, so an adult butterfly or moth can lay its eggs for the process to start again. To look for caterpillars, you may find them on the underside of leaves. They usually hide during the day, using leaves and grass to hide in as they protect themselves from predators they come alive at night to feed. Caterpillars do like the sun, but the shade is also needed to keep them happy. 
A good way to find a caterpillar's habitat is to look for nod leaves, this is usually an indicator that they are there. Did you know that you can find caterpillars pretty much anywhere, including sandy beaches to mountains, you can even find them in some arctic areas? These were some interesting facts and information about caterpillars. Insects, bugs, many beasts, weird crawl eyes. Stay tuned to our channel to know more about these important creatures. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe our channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos.